Hi guys, in this video, uh, we are going to learn how to reduce XFS file system. Okay, so we know like ext3, ext4 file system reduce, right? Uh, so XFS file system is not a direct way. Okay, first what we need to do is like uh, we need to take the backup of uh, XFS file system using XFS dump command and then we need to unmount the file system and then remove the LV whatever created. Okay. And uh, uh, you need to create a new LV with a new size and uh, you need to make it as a file system and the mount back actually. And whatever the dump that you, tick, uh, that you took actually, you need to just restore using XFS restore command. Okay. Let's see uh, quickly the uh, practical um, stuff so that you will get better idea. Okay. So here in this, right, um, first you need to see uh, uh which part which i mean which file system that you wanted to uh, reduce the xfs file system okay let's take uh, this this one okay or let's take this one okay or our data lv slash or data is the one right so first what you need to do right uh, you need to run xfs dump command to take the dump of uh, the data okay let's take slash or data uh give ll i don't have any files for example i'm creating few files here data uh, just for testing purpose okay and then i'm saving it and uh, i'm just creating few files okay so let's say like uh, 10 files we have so there are few files okay i'm just taking dump of these files okay how to take dump of these files xfs dump right hyphen f we need to take the dump uh, uh, in somewhere like for example slash tmp i'm taking in slash tmp okay or a data underscore bkp okay and uh, dot dump is the extension that i am keeping it for for this file and for which file system we need to we are taking slash or data right just give enter right it is taking uh, it will take like dump of those uh, uh, files whatever uh, whatever the data it is there okay so please enter variable for this dump session so i'm i'm take i'm giving like a test for example okay so it is failing but it is giving an error so we need to see uh, actually we need to uh, enter the right command so xfs underscore xfs dump right so xfs dump hyphen f we need to provide the path right so we need to provide the path where we are creating it for example ara data dot bkp uh, dot uh, dump as a name i'm giving or underscore bkp dot dump okay and here you need to uh, provide what is the like uh, for which file system that you wanted to take dump okay so just give enter it is asking for please enter label for dump session so i am giving aura data as a label uh, because the same uh, like file system that i am creating it okay just give enter and please enter label for media in drive so i am giving the same name okay so for example aura data okay just give enter the dump is success right you can see the stream this is where like it is getting success this is the file right so if you see like uh, let's go to slash tmp and uh, slash uh, uh, aura data right bkp dump file you can see it these of around like uh, if you see the size of it right option lh uh, within uh, like 29 kb of data this is the dump of uh, the file system now uh, that we um, i mean that we took for xfs file system okay now we need to reduce it right so how to reduce it so first we need to unmount the file system you mount slash raw data that we have okay just unmount it later we just need to remove the lv okay to remove the lv lv remove is the command and uh, slash day slash database bg whatever the vision i mean the lv path we need to provide okay so oracle data underscore lv we are just removing the lv once you remove it you need to create again a new lv with a new size for example uh, if you see here what was the size for this actually it was around like 39 gb or 20 gb sorry 20 gb right so we need to uh, reduce it to for example just for 5 gb or 10 gb for example i am trying to create for 10 gb so if you run the vgs command right you can see it's still 54 GB is free, right? So we can create because space is there. Now we need to create uh, LV. So LV create option capital. I wanted to create for just for 10 GB for now. Okay. 
maybe 500 GB or 1 TB, whatever the space that you have, you can create it. Hyphen N, we can give the name of uh, the LV, right? So, what the LV, the same LV we need to give, right? So, or our data underscore LV, the same name I'm creating, so same name I'm giving. And what is the VG here? Database underscore VG, right? Just give enter, yes. And you need to actually mount, uh, convert into a file system, right? So mkfs.xfs and uh, slash div slash vg name. Uh, so database underscore vg and lv name. And then uh, lv name is or uh, data underscore lv. Okay, just done. And then you have already an entry in the fs tab, right? So you can see the entry in the fs tab already, right? So you just mount back. Okay, using mount a we just refreshing the fs tab entries so you can get mount point back you can see here the uh, mysql sorry um, the ora data right so this is the one you can see 10 gb now earlier it was 20 now it is 10 right so now we are able to reduce but still if you see slash ora data right you won't be able to see the data right because we just newly created we took the dump using xfs dump command right so we need to just restore that dump into this uh, file system which we created just now. So we just restore xfs restore hyphen f. We need to provide the file uh, file path here, right? So what is the file path? Uh, we, we created in the slash tmp raw data dot bkp underscore bkp dot dump, right? And we need to provide a file system, right? Slash raw data. So it will just copy. Right, it is resource, resource. I mean, restore is success, and you can see it here. And uh, if you see um, the dump, right? So if you see, the, if you see it here, um, the data. So give LL, you can see all the files came back. Okay. So this is how, like, you can, uh, I mean, taking the dump and then removing the LV and creating a new LV and then restoring the dump. That is how you can reduce the file system if you get any requirement for XFS file system. There is no direct way to do that. So for exe 3 exe 4 I have another video made already. So you can just uh, go through that. Thanks for watching this video. Um, feel free to comment and share. And uh, uh, you can also subscribe to my channel.